Example 4.2. In this example, we have a surface adjacent to an insulation. This surface has a uniform heat generation, and we need to determine the finite different equations for the surface nodal points as shown. This problem is a steady two-dimensional problem with constant properties. We are going to assume that the value of delta x is equal to the value of delta y, and the heat generation is uniform throughout the surface. From the schematic, we can see that there are four sources of heat transfer plus the heat that is generated. If we do a balance of energies, we could simply say that it's going to be Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 plus Q4 plus Q that is generated and the volume of the element. The element is delta x over 2, delta y, and the depth is equal to 1. And this has to be equal to 0. Q1, Q2, and Q4 are both are all due to conduction. So we could define them using Fourier's law. So we do Q1 is equal to k. The area that it goes across is delta y times 1. It goes from temperature T m minus 1 n until T m n. And it crosses a distance of delta x. If we do Q2, we do the same pattern. So we do K. Now the area that it goes across is delta x divided by 2, thickness of 1. And it goes from node T m n minus 1 until node tm n and it goes to a distance delta y. Q3 is insulation so that has to be equal to 0 and then we do Q4 n is k delta x over 2 which is the area that it goes across times 1 it goes from node t m n plus 1 until node t mn and once again the distance that it goes across from one node to the next is delta y if we take all these quantities and substitute them in the into the first equation and do a little bit of simplifications we should be able to get to the following equation 2 t m minus 4 t plus t n minus n plus t m n plus 1 plus q generated k delta x delta y is equal to 0. This is the final equation for a plane uh, surrounded by one insulation and with heat generated. Please take the time to derive this equation and obtain the same result.